Hello there YouTube, it is me Monstrous Creation and today I'm bringing you a video on what is the difference between camping and holding down a section of the map. Uh, these two are commonly associated with each other uh, because people usually don't know the difference. Uh, you know, camping, I, I, I'll go into camping first. I will describe camping as you're sitting in a room, okay? Let's take the nu let's take Nuketown for an example, okay? Uh, you're sitting in a room, on the top room, and you're looking in the window, and you're shooting people, you're getting like four kills, and then you go and sit behind the desk, you shoot people there, then you go back to the window, and then you go back to the desk, and then you maybe run downstairs a little bit. Uh, that is camping. That's not, that's not holding your position down, that's not defending, that's not anything except sitting up in a room and camping. Now, uh, this goes for any other map. You could be sitting, but I'm going to use Newtown again as an example of holding your position or defending or, you know, just controlling an area. So you're in Newtown, you're in the window, you kill somebody in the window, you run downstairs, go into the doorway, you shoot somebody in the doorway, then you go up to the truck, you shoot somebody in the truck, and then you run back into the building and go into the garage and you shoot somebody over there, and then you walk back out the front door again and shoot them. So you're like weaving in and out of the building and up to the truck and then back into the building and then up into the truck and then back into the garage and then the backyard. That is holding a position. That's not camping. You are getting more efficient kills and you are also getting, you know, like uh, higher kill streaks, higher score, higher. You could probably even get some defense or some captures or whatever when you're over there. So camping just sucks. The only It's slow paced. You are you know getting very little kills compared to what you would be if you were holding a position and now if you're good at holding your position you can go like 50 and like 8 like I usually do I'll go like 50 and 11 60 and like 17 things like that or when you're camping you can go like 15 and 3 so I mean you can choose what you want uh, but you know camping is really noobish holding a position that's what like people really want to do so when people say to go rush and your team's getting slaughtered otherwise you're an idiot you're an absolute idiot if you want to go and rush people when your team is losing and yeah so I would prefer doing a hundred percent you know objective player than being a rusher when you're getting crushed so you know you're in domination on like raid okay and you're losing like 140 to 98 you, you, you probably have no chance so you're gonna wanna go and play objectively before you try to rush you're gonna wanna rush after you uh, after you're winning or you're catching up to them like if it's like 150 to 136 then you can go and run in the back and try to kill them and spawn trap them and back to the original topic of camping to holding position uh, camping can be done anywhere in the map whether you're sitting in their spawn in a building that's still camping because uh, again there is a difference between spawn trapping and you know holding down their spawn or and camping their spawn spawn trapping is you're sitting in like okay what am I gonna use now I'm gonna use plaza okay so you can be sitting in the building uh, right next to the spawn, you can shoot some people, jump down, go into a different building, shoot people, run around the back, go to somewhere else and shoot people. That is spawn trapping them and holding down that area so that you get a bunch of kills and a little deaths and high kill streaks. Or if you're camping, you're going to constantly sit in one building or in the back of the map or something like that. Typically, you will die more often because people will know where you are. If you keep moving when you're holding down your position, you're definitely going to be a better player than a camper. A camper's kill death ratio may be higher, but you may have way more kills than them. So, it all comes down to do you want to be taunted? Do you want to be made fun of? Do you want to not really have people like you or like and have somewhat good stats, but they could be better have a high kill death ratio low uh, score per minute or if you're holding position you could have a high kill death ratio people will kind of respect you in the lobby you'll be better you'll get higher kill streaks you'll get more challenges uh, so you can decide you want to be highly respected and 
highly uh, achievement, a high achievement to have on your team. Like I always love the feeling when you are have like five thousand five hundred points, and the next person below you has like three thousand. So I I typically when I have my good days. I'm typically that kind of person that they want to have on their team because I get these swarms, I get four or five thousand points a game. They want me on their team when I'm on my good run. When I'm on my bad run, I don't even want to play. But and I'm, I will admit it, I I do camp when I am like super close to like a swarm and I need like one or two kills. I will sit in one area, but typically that gets me killed because my hand sometimes will get like a little jittery and I'll shoot a bullet or something or I'll have a slow reaction. So uh, the camping just doesn't do it for you. So I do not recommend camping. I highly recommend uh, holding down a position. And if you hold down a position, all the luck to you, all the power to you. Uh, so I just wanted to bring you the difference between camping and holding your position. The next video I want to make will be, are you a no life or are you good at the game? So that's it guys. If you're willing to see that, you can subscribe to my channel and you'll see. So that's it guys and I'll see you later.